So you might be in a situation where you're trying to go ahead and basically turn off voice to text on your particular iPhone. Now doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So if you're within a particular panel, let's say you're in a you know iMessage and you're sending it to somebody, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is you just want to make sure that that voice to text option that comes up isn't actually randomly on. So in some cases you can see like in this particular case, if I go ahead and click on this particular option right here, this little microphone, it will start automatically doing a voice dictation and that might not be what you wanna do. Now, if you wanna turn it off, there's a couple of things. One, you can just go ahead and tap on the microphone that's in the bottom right corner. So you can tap right into there and that will basically turn it off. No matter what panel you're on throughout your whole entire system, that is basically the easiest way to go and turn it off. Now, if for some reason that doesn't seem to be working or there's another issue going on or whatever the case is, you can just go through and completely close out of that particular application just like this. So when you close out of it, it'll go ahead and turn off voice to text again in that particular app. Now, if you really wanna get crazy with it, you can also just go through and restart your phone. So you can hold down the buttons you normally would to restart your device, go through, slide the power off your particular device, and you wanna see if that ends up fixing the problem, which like I said, for a lot of people that might end up fixing it too. But if for some reason voice to text keeps coming up where it's you know a persistent issue that just keeps happening, you can also make your way over into your settings app right here. Scroll down to your general system settings right here and go into, not general, general right here. You can go into a software update and you can try updating your iPhone and see if that ends up fixing the problem too. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.